assalamu alaikum uh, in today's video we will see how SEW uh, break and rectifier works so let's get started this is the rectifier which is used for SEW breaks as you can see here there are uh, marked pin numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 uh, this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 and 5 so to use this rectifier we need to supply uh, either uh, 220 volt or 400 volt or 460 volt uh, it, it can be used up to 500 volt it can be used up to uh, 500 volt AC uh, what it does uh, it takes supply AC it take AC supply and rectify it uh, means convert from AC to DC and provide to the uh, brake coil so the brake coil latch and uh, uh, motor uh, if you want to start the motor then you can move the uh, motor rotor uh, if it is latch if it is dislatch then uh, the brake is uh, pressed and you can't move the motor so uh, this is pin number two this is pin number two and this is pin number three here you will uh, uh, supply 220 volt ac or 400 volt ac whatever you uh, sub in whatever you supply the input it uh, provide output according to the input supply let's suppose this is a, this is a chart of uh, my scw my scw brake model this is the be05 you can also see the nameplate of uh, this rectif uh, this brake uh, be05 here you can uh, here you can see the uh, newton meter 5 newton meter is the uh, torque power and this is 220 230 volt operated this is not dc 230 volt this is ac 230 volt which means you you will need to supply this rectifier 230 volt ac and its output will go to these terminals uh, and it this terminal will get dc supply according to its 230 volt so uh, what what will be the level of uh, dc supply so you will find it from here so we have be be05 break uh, this is my model be05 230 operated you can see here ac volt 230 volt operated so uh, when this rectifier gets to 30 volt it will convert dc uh, to the 96 volt so if we supply this rectifier to 30 volt it provide rectify it provide rectified output to this uh, brake uh, uh, and level of the dc supply will be 96 volt approx so uh, what other things need to be uh, checked uh, before supplying the power to the brake is to check the resistance of uh, of the brake resistance of the brake this is white wire this is white wire this is uh, blue wire and this is uh, red wire uh, white wire is common uh, you can see here the uh, 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 symbolic diagram of the brake this is white this is red and this is blue so white red and blue white is common and red and blue one is uh, there are two coils in this uh, brake one is uh, uh, accelerating coil and one is fractional coil uh, what uh, does it mean uh, first whenever we supply uh, voltage to the rectifier and it provide output to this brake then within the 150 millisecond 120 millisecond it only uh, supply to the uh, accelerator coil uh, which is which have less resistance so uh, magnetic uh, strength will be high and, and current also high so after 120 millisecond or 150 millisecond the fractional coil get the supply so uh, the overall resistance of the brake increases and strength of the magnet decrease uh, which also reduce the current to the brake uh, which prevent brake for uh, our heating so this is the main function of the three wires one is accelerating coil and one is uh, uh, fractional coil so white and red white and red are accelerating coil white and red are uh, accelerating coil and white 
and blue is uh, fractional coil so uh, how to how to check the resistance uh, to, to check so uh, what will be the resistance of the accelerator coil and uh, fractional coil so you will find it from the uh, from its manual we have this brake and this is the voltage dc voltage level and this is the rb uh, which is accelerating coil resistance this is rt you can see here this is rt which is uh, uh, fractional coil resistant so uh, we uh, so white and uh, blue white and you can see here white and red are R, uh, rb is rb so we will uh, check the resistance we will find the resistance of accelerating coil first Uh, this is fractional coil so yeah, higher resistance fractional coil lower resistance uh, accelerating coil so yeah, and it should be in the range it should be in the range so uh, what is the resistance of the fractional coil this is uh, 78 ohm accelerating coil is 78 ohm so white and red is are uh, is accelerating coil this is 83 ohm and uh, what uh, uh, manual says is 78 ohm so it is in the limit it is not uh, very too much now we will find the uh, uh, resistance of the fraction coil this is 245 ohm so we will check it from our manual this is 235 ohm almost uh, 8 9 ohms 7 ohm uh, difference so it is in the limit so this means that the coil of the brake is fine coil of the brake is fine uh, in next video we will see how uh, break uh, what are the main break parts and how to uh, service this break and also we will check by supplying the power to this break thank you